Hello, fellow students, and today I'm going to be giving you a biography on Stephen Hawking. Hope you enjoy. Here's some information on Stephen Hawking. <coughs> Stephen Hawking was born on January 8th, <coughs> 1942 in England, and is still remaining alive at the age of 74. He has two kids, a son and a daughter, named Lucy Hawking and Tim Hawking. Stephen Hawking is a theoretical physicist who studies about space, the black hole, and about reversing time. Information on Stephen Hawking's kids. Lucy Hawking was born on November the 2nd, 1969, and is a germ journalist. Tim Hawking was born on the 15th of April, 1979. He is 37 right now. Here's a picture of uh, the Hawkings together. What did he do? What he did was um, he went to the Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physicist and founder of the Center for Theore Theoretical uh, Cosmology at Cambridge. His other books for the general reader include A Brief History of Time, the essay Collection Black Holes and Baby Universe and the Universe in a Nutshell. Here's a, po a picture of the books he has released. What happened to him? He was in early stages of amyotropic, later sclerius, ALS, or Lugerus disease. In a very simple sense, the nerves that controlled his muscles were turning off. Doctors gave him two and a half years to live, but somehow he managed to, um, to live through it. Th there are many theories of what could have happened, but I think he got very lucky. Space, travel, and f uh, fu future t f fame. Hawking's quest for big answers to big questions includes his own personal desire to travel into space. In 2007, at the age of 65, Hawking made an important s step towards space travel. While visiting the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, he was given the opportunity to experience an environment without gravity. Over the course of, of two hours over the Atlantic, Hawking, a passenger on a modified Bo uh, Boeing 727, was freed from his wheelchair to experience bursts of weightlessness. This is how he looked and now how he looks. Here's a video that briefs all the information. Hope you enjoy. Sorry about that. Hello. My name is Stephen Hawking, physicist, cosmologist, and something of a dreamer. Although I cannot move, and I have to speak through a computer, in my mind, I am free. Persistent in his pursuit of knowledge, Stephen Hawking has unlocked new pathways of discovery and inspired people around the world. Stephen William Hawking was born in Oxford, England on the 300th anniversary of the death of Galileo on January 8, 1942. At 17 years old, he entered Oxford University. Stephen Hawking has admitted in many cases that he was not the most ambitious student. One day he calculated that he spent about maybe an hour a day on schoolwork. In 1962, Hawking moved to Cambridge University for a PhD in cosmology and one year later was diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. ALS is a progressive motor neuron disease, so over time, 
the victim loses functionality of muscles. And over the past decade, Stephen Hawking has gradually lost the use of most of his muscles, but his mind remains quite keen. I think that once he was hit with this earth-shattering diagnosis, he actually sought a refuge in doing physics. And if anything, it helped him become one of the world's great scientists. Although his diagnosis only gave him two and a half years to live, Hawking married in 1965 and stunned the science world in 1974 with his PhD on black holes. Stephen taught us how to define a black hole. He then made a brilliant discovery that uh, black holes uh, can radiate, Hawking radiation. That then showed the whole world the connection between black hole physics and thermodynamics. And that connection has been a central theme in theoretical physics ever since. He became the Sherman Fairchild Distinguished Scholar at Caltech in 1974. And five years later, Hawking was named Cambridge University's Lucasian Professor of Mathematics, an honor bestowed on only 14 people since 1663. Stephen Hawking is a theoretical physicist of a very specific kind. He studies cosmology, particle physics, gravity. That's trying to understand the very basic laws of physics as well as where the universe itself came from. Hawking sees things that other people didn't see time and again. He just thinks more deeply than most of the rest of us. And those insights have had big consequences. Even though Hawking deteriorated to the point that he needed a computerized speech synthesizer to speak, he wrote A Brief History of Time in 1988, selling more than 10 million copies. Stephen Hawking's book, A Brief History of Time, which was a bestseller for weeks and weeks, was about some of the most profound questions that face humanity. It's really about where we come from and where we're headed, from a physicist's point of view. After expanding upon his work with several more books, Hawking increased his popularity by guest starring in TV shows like The Simpsons, Star Trek The Next Generation, and The Big Bang Theory. I think Hawking is absolutely the most popular physicist, probably since Einstein. There are plenty of other physicists who are working very deeply at nature's secrets, but Hawking has celebrity status that very few scientists reach. Hawking received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009. Although he retired from teaching that same year, Stephen Hawking continues to be hailed as one of the greatest scientific minds of all time. Stephen Hawking is a scientist has had a tremendous impact on our understanding of the universe and the laws of nature. At the same time, as a human being, he has been an inspiration to the world, to his colleagues, and to people with disabilities everywhere. Well, guys, that will end up for me. I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, see you later.